Hafa a day, Joint Region Marianas, military and civilian employees. The last time we spoke, I promised that I would keep you up to date on any future events that directly affected you. As a team, we made it through the sequestration imposed furlough, and I want to thank you for your sacrifice and hard work during that challenging time. In the coming weeks, we're faced with another potential challenge. As of 30 September, we will have exhausted the fiscal year 13 budget, and there's a possibility of a governmental shutdown until Congress signs the fiscal year 14 budget or passes a continuing resolution. So a brief synopsis of the things you need to know. If Congress does not sign a fiscal year 14 budget or pass a continuing resolution, the government will essentially close. Civilians will be faced with a shutdown furlough as of 1 October unless their billet provides an accepted function or involves the protection of life and property. We're still sorting through what all that means and awaiting additional guidance, but the recent furlough in July is probably a good template of what duties and responsibilities would be exempt. As we get additional guidance, your supervisor will let you know if your responsibilities fall in this range. Non-appropriated fund or NAF employees will be informed through their chain of command if they are impacted by the furlough due to the government shutdown. Military members will continue to report for duty as scheduled. Civilians and military who do continue to work will be in a normal duty status, but will not be paid until Congress makes the funds available. I encourage everyone to monitor our regional social media sites and national media outlets for news about the approval of a continuing resolution or a fiscal year 2014 appropriation for the department. This is a very dynamic situation and it can change quickly. Once a continuing resolution or budget have been approved, all furloughed employees will be expected to return to work as soon as practicable, but not later than your next regular duty day. Additional information and answers to frequently asked questions are available on the OPM website. The full link is listed below. This is not the first time we faced this particular obstacle, but I realize that doesn't make it any easier or reduce its impact. Thank you for your service, for your patience, and for persevering through these challenges. Your efforts are what make ours the world's finest military.